Flesh. Move over, make way for Nikki Eric. Wagner. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I watched the Rugby World Cup opening from the fan zone in Hagley Park in Christchurch, and I was proud to be a New Zealander. Yeah. Yeah. But right now, I want to talk about National's blue-green agenda and the significant environmental achievements we've made in the last three years. It was really interesting. Last night, we introduced the EEZ legislation to protect and manage the seas around the New Zealand coast. It was supported right across the House by the Greens, by the Māori Party, by ACT, by United Future. Everybody except Labour. And that doesn't make any sense to me. It's that constant negativity. The, the EEZ right now has no protection and they don't want it to get any. That is totally irresponsible. And a couple of weeks ago, they voted against the Freedom Camping Bill. That is legislation to stop our beautiful, pristine environment being fouled and damaged. I don't get that either. It seems that in their effort to try and di differentiate themselves from national, Labour is happy to sacrifice the environment, and that's not good enough. Dr Nick Smith and the Blue Greens have worked hard over these past three years to clean up our existing environmental problems and to give a new environmentally friendly agenda, and we've got some good results. In 2010, we had the cleanest air ever recorded in New Zealand. And that success is mostly due to the Clean Heat program. In the last three years, we have converted 26,000 homes to clean heating appliances. Labour only did 800 in their nine years. 800. And we've been working with the Greens on the warm-up New Zealand insulation program and have refitted 100,000 homes. Labour, they did 5,000 in their time. And this project, insulation project, has much wider benefits. Benefits to health and well-being for New Zealand families right across the country. And we're continuing that program in Christchurch as we repair houses there. We're also cleaning up waterways and contaminated site. The Tui Mine, which has been a blot on the Coromandel landscape, and lakes and rivers all across the country. In this tough economic times, we're spending nearly $100 million on cleanups. That's five times as much as Labour did in nine long years, when they were responsible for looking after our waterways. I was delighted to join Nick Smith recently when we signed up on the big clean-up of Lake Ellesmere, Te Waihora, and we're working together with Naitahu, Environment Canterbury and Fonterra. So we've got all the people around the table that can make this happen. It's a real step forward. We're also keen to see the collaborative model working across the country. It's what underpins the Land and Water Forum. 54 stakeholders from all parts of our community are working together to develop a long-lasting framework to manage water quality and water quantity. That's another important milestone. And we're making progress in Canterbury too by pushing forward the community-focused Canterbury Water Management Strategy and Zone Committees, and they're doing very good work. Our moderated ETS is also working well. We're on track to meet our Kyoto targets, and that will save the country $470 million, a billion. It's a sensible, <laughs> practical policy that's really delivering. Now, Helen Clark talked a lot about being carbon neutral, but under her times, emissions increased by 23%. But in the last two years, without any fanfare, under national, they've dropped by 4%. Oh, that's great. Forestry is also important for managing carbon, and during Labour's last three years, they chopped down 15 million trees. How many? 15. Whereas in the last national 
Government, since we've been there, we've planted 5.5 million more. So we're on the way and increasing that as well. We're also making progress with renewable energy. In 2010, 74% of our energy was generated by renewables. Mr. Speaker, uh, since